Well, as speculation continues surrounding the potential easing of lockdown measures soon and an announcement from Boris Johnson later this week on what some are calling an exit strategy, is this all coming too quick? Well, according to a survey by Ipsos Mori, more than 60% of Britons would feel uncomfortable carrying out regular activities such as visiting bars and restaurants or using public transport if the lockdown was eased. Whilst more than 40% would be reluctant to go shopping or send their children to school, whilst around a third of Brits would be concerned about going to work or meeting friends. But is this national mood reflected locally across our region? Well, the North East is continuing to report high numbers of coronavirus cases, with over 1,082 having died from the virus across the North East Hospital Trusts. This comes as the number of confirmed cases across our region tops 8,000. Middlesbrough continues to report the highest death rate in the northeast, followed closely by Sunderland. It tops the local authority area too, with the highest number of confirmed cases, with Gateshead and Middlesbrough closely following. This data comes as areas including Middlesbrough, Gateshead, Sunderland and South Tyneside all rank in the top 10 of highest COVID-19 cases per 100,000 people. It follows reports of Middlesbrough being the area most at risk of COVID-19 complications and follows a study from Sky News suggesting former industrial areas and coastal towns are most at risk from the aftermath of COVID-19. In the list of the top 10 areas that could be worst hit by the virus, Peterlee in County Durham leads the way for the northeast, while those areas with a high dependence on jobs in the retail sector could also suffer as Wickham sees 38% of its people employed in retail. 